Right now, a gunman is on the run after trying to rob a busy gas station early this morning. News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy is live at the scene for us. Dan, I know you're inside now. This guy got away empty handed, yeah. but he was caught on the cameras there. Oh, they have plenty of cameras here. You're right about that, Amy. This is the M Mart on Thompson Lane. The gunman walked in around midnight and he pulled out his gun. Thankfully, there was a clerk behind here who's quick thinking, shut this bulletproof glass to keep him away from the register. But just a few feet away, there's this door. And so the gunman went for the door, bulletproof glass door, and there was a struggle with a woman behind trying to lock it and the man out here with the gun trying to get in. She ended up overpowering him and he left the store, but not before being caught on all these different surveillance cameras throughout the store. Go ahead and take a look at some of these good pictures we have to show you this morning. It's described as a black male who walked in wearing all black clothing, even has that black bandana covering part of his face, but still some very good pictures nonetheless. Do you recognize him? This is the same man who walked in last night, police say, and demanded three people, including customers, to get on the ground, but it was that quick thinking clerk behind the bulletproof glass that prevented him from taking anything else. Back here live this morning, this store has been in this location since 2010, the M Mart, and the clerk tells me they've never really had any issues here except this week. In fact, two nights ago, some burglars broke through here, threw a rock through this window, and uh, left behind some blood. So police were testing for DNA. They got in, they stole some cigarettes. Nobody else was inside. Clerk says she caught four people that in that one instance. And then here we are one night later, and they are uh, the targets of an attempted armed robbery. If you recognize that guy or have any information about what happened here on Thompson Lane, call 615-74-CRIME. Reporting live in South Nashville, Dan Kennedy, News Channel 5. All right.